everyone. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do an axle stall. I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube. It seems like the number one problem that people are having is they don't know how to get their full body weight up on top of the coping. And today we're going to solve that problem. Guys, this is my home skate park called Beasley. It's my playground. Let's check it out. First things first, to do the backside axle stall, you can't come at it at the coping on an angle, okay? You have to come straight on, 90 degrees, just like this. If you come on an angle, you're gonna be tempted just to cruise off and kick turn just like this and to avoid the coping altogether. So by forcing yourself to come up 90 degrees, it's gonna force you to get on top of the coping and get your full body weight up there. Another tip is to get more speed. And again, that's gonna help you get on top of the coping. So guys, the key again to getting up and locking on the coping is you want to have your wheel right next to the coping. So basically you pin your wheel against the coping. It helps you to lock. That's your back foot, okay? The front truck can basically rest on the coping wherever it feels natural to you. I like to put it right in the middle or just off to the side. In order to get back down into the quarter, number one, you've got to commit. And number two, you gotta transfer pressure from your heels to your toes. And so you're doing this motion. You're up on there, on your heels, heel pressure. You transfer weight to your toes, toe pressure. Then you lean in, kick turn, and get back in there. So I'm applying heel pressure here. I apply toe pressure. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pop your board up like this. Then you're gonna be in a better position to come back down inside the quarter without getting hung up. If you keep applying heel pressure, as you attempt to get back down into the quarter, you're gonna hang up and you're gonna fall. And you're gonna smash your face right down here. So the key to getting back into the transition is to transfer your weight from applying heel pressure to toe pressure. That's gonna help you overcome your fear of dropping back in and to help you complete the trick. And then, when you've got axle stalls down on lock, you can progress it to the next level if you're comfortable. Check it out. You can do some combo tricks. You can do a 50-50. You can do a feeble. Guys, thanks for tuning in for this episode, How to Axle Stall. I'm the Canadian Skater, and I'll catch you later.